LWO on WeatherNet. Uh, liftoff conditions looking pretty good. ESTS is ready for launch. Ignition. Liftoff. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Ten. Nine. Eight. Side booster ignition. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition, and we have liftoff. Stage one propulsion nominal. Vehicles pitching downrange. We have 30 seconds into flight. Falcon looks good on the ascent. Today's mission is launch of ES-01 mission, brought by our customer to launch their pilot into orbit, actually at LEO or lower orbit. On this mission, we are using a brand new booster with the series number B1075. So no shoot detector on the booster right now. Our next major step is max Q, stand off maximum dynamic pressure. This is the largest amount of stress exerted on the vehicle. So we have to throttle down the engine to prepare for the max Q, which will be happening shortly. After max Q, we have three events happening back to back. The first one is Miko or main engine cutoff, then stage separation, and then SES number one with second engine start number one. Vehicle is experiencing maximum dynamic pressure. SES number one, this is ignition of the second engine which will be propelled the second stage into orbit. While the first stage will close into its apogee and then start falling back into Earth. And Miko. Stage separation confirmed. Good MVAC ignition. The next step is a fairing separation. Fairing is the protective nose cone at the top of the vehicle, which protect the payload in atmospheric condition and provide aerodynamic for the rocket. After they reach the vacuum of space, the fairing is no longer needed, so we have to deploy it. Bearing separation confirmed. On today's mission, we will perform short ACS-2 and SECO-2, which the first burn of the second stage will bring the second stage into its apogee in optical orbit, and after the second stage reaches its apogee, we will light off the second stage engine, which will make a circular orbit and ready to deploy the payload. Acquisition signal, Bermuda. Stage two, FTS is saved. Second stage continues to follow the nominal trajectory. Acquisition of signal, Bermuda. Nominal insertion orbit. The first stage is about to re entry into Earth's atmosphere, so we will performing an entry burn, which will happen shortly. Entry burn is needed to slowing down the first stage before entering the Earth dense atmosphere. Stage one, entry burn startup. 
So in our version, we will only light up two other engine to slowing down the vehicle velocity. Stage one entry burn shut down. And that's conclude of the entry burn. The next step is a landing burn. Landing burn is final maneuver to slowing down the first stage and, and softly touch down into our autonomous drone ship. Of course, I still love you. And that's the booster. Stage one, landing burn startup. See? We'll be able to land this booster. Stage one, landing leg deploy. That's a good feel. And touchdown. This is for the first time of this booster to re-entry and land on the drone ship. We will continue into our second stage. For now, the second stage will coasting on this orbit until several minutes. So we will do a time wrap to skip the vehicle coasting into its apogee. See you in any minutes later. Welcome back of our launch coverage of ES-01 mission. Now the second stage is about to reach its apogee and prefer ACS and SECO number 2. And that's the conclude of the SES number 2 and SECO number 2. Waiting for the confirmation. Nominal orbit insertion. Well, for now, second stage will do a little coast into next deployment, so we will see you on the next minute. Welcome back. Now the second stage is ready to deploy the payload and waiting for the confirmation. Payload deploy confirmed. Good view of the second stage and the payload. Pretty good. With this deployment sequence, we'll bring our webcast to a close. So thank you for watching our mission. If you're interested to launch your own payload with us, just go ahead to spacexsfs.org3.com slash launch. You can book your launch there. And once again, thank you for joining our coverage video of this ES-01 mission. Thank you for our customer for using our service and see you on the next mission. Have a nice day.